To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. I have no intention tonight to uh, try to explain Christmas. I don't know how to do that. I can't explain it. It really doesn't make sense. The gift of Christmas cannot be explained or understood by logic, the rational mind, or even our various theologies and philosophies. It can only be experienced. And that's what I'd like us to do tonight. I'd like us to experience Christmas together. So we're going to do things just a little bit differently than we normally do. I am going to ask you to do something. And it may sound a little odd or unusual, but I hope you will indulge me. I think it will make sense. I'd like you to turn to someone near you in just a moment and touch them on the shoulder or the sleeve or the hand. Look in their eyes and simply say, yes. And then pass it down the pews. Don't let there be anyone here who is not given a yes. All ages, all backgrounds, all walks of life. Just touch them and say yes, and make sure that everyone gets a yes. It doesn't matter who you are, why you are here, what you believe or do not believe, you get a yes. Please take a moment or two and uh, do that. Do you know what has happened? You received what the shepherds received on that very first Christmas night. Shepherds keeping watch in the night close to the grassy slopes at home in the darkness, a listening presence in the midnight emptiness. Shepherds keeping watch in the night, terrified by a voice not heard before, not supposed to be there. Shepherds keeping watch in the night, alarmed by powerful light upending their security, but they did not run away. They stayed in the dark and they listened, stretched their ears to that unknown voice, and the voice said, do not be afraid. Stay in this dark place and listen, I have wonderful news. The hoped for one, the birthing you have longed for in the depths of your soul has come, oh yes, God has come to you this night. You received the yes the shepherds received, and you have passed on the good news that the angels spoke. You just experienced the Christmas story in its entirety. Admittedly, this is not the usual story we tell or have been told, but yes, is the story behind the story, and it is one that sets us free. This child we receive and celebrate tonight is the sign of God's yes to you and to me and to all the world. This child is the embodiment of God's yes to all people. The child will, the, will spend the rest of his life saying yes to the world. This Jesus child will say yes to the poor, yes to the hungry, yes to the weeping, yes to the sinner, yes to the pure in heart, yes to those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, yes to the peacemakers, yes to the outsiders. This Jesus will say yes to the weeping, to the wedding couple who ran out of wine. This Jesus will say yes to the lepers, yes to the prostitutes and tax collectors, yes to the 5,000 hungry, yes to the demon possessed, yes to the woman caught in adultery, yes to Lazarus dead, 
and brought back to life? Yes to the woman at the well? Jesus will say yes to blind Bartimaeus, yes to the hemorrhaging woman who reached out and touched the hem of his garment and was made well. Jesus will say yes to the centurion's servant, yes to the widows, yes to the paralyzed man, yes to the sick and suffering. This Jesus will say yes to Nicodemus and yes to Mary and Martha, yes to Peter, James, and John, and even yes to Thomas, who so struggled to believe. And yes, even yes to Judas, who did not understand the good news. And yes, to you and to me and to your neighbor and to every child of the earth. Jesus is God's great yes to and for the world. Regardless of who you are, where you are from, what you have done or left undone, or what is happening in your life right at this moment, tonight you get a yes. There is no one who does not get a yes. And that yes is the gift of Christmas, and it comes without condition. It is pure gift. That yes comes to us as love acceptance, forgiveness, presence. And God's yes to you and me always comes without an if, a when, or a why. God's yes, the Christmas gift, never comes wrapped in an economy of transaction. It comes with grace. And let me explain what I mean. We live in a world in which you pay for what you want. We expect to return the favor. We expect to pay off the debt or reciprocate in some manner. We write contracts to ensure that the books will always remain balanced. In short, you get what you pay for. But that is not God's world or God's way. God does not love if you are worthy of being loved. God loves with no conditions, not a single one, nothing, none at all. God does not accept when you have proven that you are acceptable. God's acceptance comes with no conditions, none at all, not a single one. God does not forgive after you have changed your ways. God simply forgives. God does not show up because you said your prayers or you had enough faith. God's presence in our lives is ours without condition. None at all. There are no prerequisites to God's yes. That is the gift of this sacred night. God's yes coming to us without restraint, without condition, without requirement. The gift of the night is God's unconditional yes leading us to holy life. It's kind of like a story that a friend of mine shared with me uh, not too long ago about his four-year-old granddaughter. He said he recently went to visit with her and she asked him, Grandpa, why are you here? Because I love you, he said. But why, she asked. Because I just do, he said. But why, she asked again. It's just what I do, he said. I cannot not love you. And he said her face lit up like the night filled with the stars of God. And um, her face broke out in a smile and she danced for joy because she heard his yes. His yes coming without restraint, without condition, without requirement. His unconditioned yes. She understood that there is no why to her grandpa's love. It just is. And that, dear friends, is Christmas. That's what the child lying in the manger brings to us. 
That's why we come here to this place on this night every year. We come to remember, to be reminded of, and to hear once again God's never-ending yes to us. That is and will ever be the song of Christmas. And it's playing for each one of you here in this room and for those down the street and especially for those out in the far corners of the world. It is a yes, our song of birth. It's not over this birthing. There are always newer skies into which God can throw stars. When we begin to think that we can predict the advent of God, that we can box the Christ in a stable in Bethlehem, that is just the time that God will be born in a place we cannot imagine and do not believe. Those who wait for God watch with their hearts and not their eyes, listening, always listening to angel words. And the word of the angels this night is yes, 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 yes. Can you hear it? Yes. 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 Can you feel it? Yes, yes, yes. Sing along with it. Yes, yes, yes. And that, the angel says, is good news of great joy for all, all people. That yes, yes, yes. It is God's perfect yes to us in Jesus Christ. Jesus, the one who sets us free from the cruelty of the world. Jesus, the one who lifts us up from death into resurrected living. Jesus, the one who gives encouragement and offers grace and wraps us in perfect love. The Jesus who says yes to God over and over and over again and in doing so gives us life abundant. Jesus, in his yes to us, empowers us to go beyond these doors out into a hurting world saying yes. With Jesus, we say yes to the gift of compassion. We say with Jesus, yes to the gift of caring that takes us directly into the heart of our neighbor. Yes to the gift of acceptance that sees every human life as a child of God to be loved and welcomed. Yes to uh, that uniting the whole world in God's perfect peace. Jesus said yes to God and because of that we are saved. As your gift tonight, what will you say yes to in the year ahead? In your bulletin this evening, there was a little card with a gift printed on it. And it says, yes, I will, and there is a blank. So I'd like you to take a moment or two, think prayerfully about how you need to complete that statement. What are you willing to do in the year ahead? What are you ready to say, yes, I will do in the year that approaches? And after prayer, write that down what you will say yes to, and then bring it forward with you at the time that we share communion together and place it in the offering tray as you receive the bread and the cup, Jesus' perfect gift of yes to us. Yes, yes, yes. That is the good news of great joy for all the people. This is a holy night the night God said yes to the world and gave us the gift of Jesus.